Hey, Peter Piper picked a peck of pumpkins, but didn't know which ones to eat. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it is. Oh, <laughs> have you ever made like pumpkin pie from pumpkins? Julio? Yeah, I have. You have? Yeah, I have. Not, it's not, not me. No, it's not, not me. <laughs> but I do know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm good at. Yeah, you, Telling people how to do things. You're right. <laughs> and eating, too, right? Yeah, eating. That, you know what? I don't like pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah? No. I'm, I'm, I'm weird that way. Man. Like blueberry pie? No. No? no. Wow. You're I am weird. a one pie kind of man. What, an apple. apple. Oh, you're an apple man. <laughs> I'm an apple man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh. I went and I picked up pumpkins yesterday, actually. Um went out to the farm country in Lancaster and picked up pumpkins. And I'm looking at, like, I had about 12. And even if you take the deliveries that we've gotten and, and the what we've got so far, if you take the 20 or 25 bins of pumpkins, where it used to be all the orange, Oranges. orange, like, small little pie pumpkins field trips or, or no, I'm sorry I'm sorry not pie pumpkins but the little round guys or the the big you know ones that you use for carving jack o lantern yeah, it used to be yeah. all those now it was like a third of those compared to all yeah. like the different weird ones and <laughs> speaking of weird ones there's like a variety called weird warties weird warties War- yeah. <laughs> cuz they're, they're they have like warts, warts on them yeah. oh oh, oh yeah. warty warty yeah. goblins warty, weird warties warty yeah. goblins too yes yeah. i remember that warty one too gar- yeah. goblins yeah. yeah wow and that uh and there are just so many different types and it's just it's just amazing and that uh it's it's also fun the stacking pumpkins where they look like a a pylon you know you go from <laughs> yeah. the flat ones flat and one, you, yeah, the you stack ones. them all up but what we're going to start with is, first of all, the regular traditional orange pumpkins. They are not good for pies. They're hollow inside. You can They're great for seeds, like where you bake pumpkin seeds. You ever do that? No, I haven't done that. Yeah, when I was a kid. You did but, that? Yeah, my parents, not my parents, my mother did that. And I was like, yo, hey, here. We would just get them from the corner store. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pumpkin <laughs> seeds? Pumpkin, pumpkin seeds and uh, sunflower seeds. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And... But they're great for decorating and carving, and, and that they're fun that way. Painting, because they give you a nice, good surface oh, yeah. to, to paint faces on. Uh, but the best ones for cheese, for, 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 I'm sorry, for for pies are the milk pumpkins or some kind. They're called Long Island cheese pumpkins, and they're more flat. Uh, if you are uh, looking at us on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, we'd like to bring you this content each week. And that, uh, please uh, give us uh, a rating if you're listening on a uh, podcast. We prefer five stars. So we appreciate that. Um, again, the cheese pumpkins, they're flat, but they're dense. There's no hollow space in them. And that some people think they're squash. They are not squash. They're, they're pumpkins. And that they're more of a tan color on the outside. And they have that, I mean, gosh, they look like, you know, it says, look, it's Thanksgiving. Or, oh. You know, now it says it's Halloween, but you can get them at Halloween, use them for th- your Thanksgiving pie. Uh, also, there's the pure white flat ones, right? They're called, they're, a lot of them, they're different names, okay? But uh, one of the most uh, common ones is the white flat boar pumpkin. Beautiful white. Uh, green stem, very sweet orange flesh inside. Uh, and again, both of those are perfect for pies. And that uh, it's, it's, there are just so many. Like we got um, grizzly bears and they're brown. Right. They're, they look like the traditional orange pumpkin, but brown. they're brown. They're beautiful color, right? They, they are. It's, it's, it's like a mulka. Yeah. Mulka. Yeah. Beautiful. And that that we got a variety that's that same orange style shape of a face pumpkin, but they're bright yellow. Yellow. Oh yes. Yeah. They're called lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> and uh, there are just so many different colors that it, go, going for. It used to be orange pumpkins. Yeah. It's turning uh, now, to, to oh, different colors. Like I said, it's amazing. The 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 amount of we exceed other styles of pumpkins than, you know, compared to orange orange, yeah. orange pumpkins. I think people got tired of the orange. Yeah. Well, I don't know about tired. It's just they didn't know the other ones existed. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and I think that with uh, people using them to decorate, you'll see more online. I mean, we're inundated with all the things online and people that make you feel guilty that you're not keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. You know, it's like, look what I did. It's like, great. <laughs> I worked all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like my front step doesn't have anything yeah. on it. I think I'll go pretty, out and I'll go get some stacker pumpkins. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome too. You know, the stacking thing part of it. You know, how, you know that's something that, that I never saw before until we, you got the stacking pumpkins. Hey, what do we talk about landscapes, right? Color, texture, and form. Yeah. And that's what it's got. Yeah, it's what it's got. It, yeah, it's got, colors. it's the form is that pyramidal. The, uh-huh. the texture are the flatter pumpkins. That's and right. the form is more of a pyramid. Pyramid, yeah. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. Um, blue Jardinelles. Oh, wow. wow. I, I love Blue Jardinelles because they are blue. Uh, the, anybody familiar with Hubbard squash? They're like that same color of Hubbard squash, but they have that flat type of look. And they're they're just they're just a great pumpkin. Their flesh can be used the same thing for pies and such. Beautiful. And it is a beautiful contrast there with is. that blue outside and then the orange oh, inside. Oh, yeah. Now, once you cut it, it's not going to be around long, but uh, again, it's just something to appreciate if you're going to use it for pies. Porcelain dolls. Porcelain dolls are a pink, and there's also blue dolls, and they basically the same family of seed, but they have just a little gloss to them. Some of the other pumpkins we've mentioned are more flat, you know, as far as a flat, they don't have much of a sheen to them where the porcelain dolls and the blue dolls have a a little bit of a sheen to them. What I find interesting is there are Cinderella and fairy tale pumpkins. Fairy tale pumpkins are the most expensive pumpkins. Wow. I mean, they're more than the orange pumpkins, which trying to find a big orange pumpkin, they're expensive. And, And not having it to be one of the the what we used to call a, a Big Max. Now they're called prize winners, where it's those uh, big ones. I saw, um, I did not buy it. I was tempted. It was a 355-pound pumpkin. <laughs> you can pick that up. And it was a prize winner. It was one pallet. It could only fit oh, on one pallet. It was ginormous. Oh. And uh, that... Again, it, it's uh, they've got a different shape. Like we have those same pumpkins. We do have prize winner pumpkins at Bloomers. We also have uh, something called polar bears, which are the white pumpkins uh, that are like like the prize winners. We also have uh, snowballs and and other types of white pumpkins as well because they have become very very popular. And again, it's color, texture, form, it's color. It gives it white brings out the colors of the other pumpkins. So. Uh, and also put them around mums and things like that. It just makes a great, great, great scene. But the fairy tale pumpkins, I just don't understand why are they so much more than all of the other pumpkins. And I'm um, assuming it's because they can, they have that sweet and savory uh, flesh inside that you can use for both pies, but also for spicy uh, pumpkin muffins as, as well as pumpkin soup. So they can be used as for culinary purposes, not just ornamental purposes. Uh, Cinderella's are, are more of an orangey, a flat orange pumpkin. And that the fairy tales can be that same color as like a milk pumpkin, where it's that uh, tannish uh, color. What, what color would you, would you say that that is, Julio? Oh, it's, it's got a little bit of a uh, orange, but it's more like a brown orange. Yeah, right. Like a t- like almost flesh color. Flesh. Yeah. It looks like your skin. Like your skin yeah. Sepia. Yeah. yeah. Sepia. Yeah. Sepia. Sepia. Yeah. yeah. It smells like seep. Sepia. S e p. Yeah, yeah. It's a color. It's okay. Like a, it's like a tan. It's like a tan. Got to get you off of that Adobe stuff. <laughs> <laughs> tan tone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it was once their color of the year, like uh, about ten years ago. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You can also think of a, like a sepia filter, like an old West film, like that right. kind of like brown, old timey film. Okay, that's, that's kind of what sepia looks like. All right, wow, All right. wow Sam, yeah, Sam. Oof. man, <laughs> look, look at the smoke on the other <laughs> side <laughs> of the glass. <laughs> oh, no worries, that's oh, great. That's but where it also has that color, but then it's also greenish, hmm. so you can see like it's not totally ripe on some of them, not all of them, some of them. So again, it's 
it's not just orange pumpkins anymore. So it's a it's a it's a great time of the year. Um, and one little trick: uh, if you use wilt proof, and we've talked about wilt proof for plants, where it's an anti transparent. And that's a fancy horticultural word that basically means it locks in the moisture around the pumpkin or the leaf of the plant and doesn't allow it to basically dry out and to rot. And that if you spray your pumpkin with wilt proof, like so look in your garage. If you're somebody who's used it for your Christmas greens or you've used it in the past, you may have it in in your garage. Just shake it up real good and spray your your pumpkins and it and it was amazing that the time lapse that we saw uh, from the company, they actually have this. They may have it on their website, and that's willproof.com, I guess. I'm, I'm to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Just do a search on Google. Could that be used uh, for, like, jack-o'-lanterns to preserve them also when you cut them? The problem is you got the inside, the inside exposed right. to the air. Right. It can't hurt. Okay. It can't hurt, but it, right. it's once it's exposed to the air, mm-hmm. then it's a, it, like, rots from the rots inside from the out. I got you. Got you. So. All right. But, uh, again, I... I the, Bulletproof has been around for decades. Decades. It's probably 100 years old. They're a solid company. Yeah. And that where it it just amazed me when they showed. There's like, oh, look at the pumpkin thing. And I was like, guys, why don't you promote that? I mean, you guys are like a one season, you know, a use. But if the whole idea is like, you know, all of us in this industry are looking for ways to to flatten out the the peaks and valleys of our seasonality. So, but... uh, that's one thing uh, certainly to do. And in our segment coming up, we, we had somebody ask us a question, which is apropos to, to pumpkins. Yeah. Um, anything to add, Julio? I'm looking at that creamy pumpkin soup. I never tried it. Creamy pumpkin yeah. soup? Pumpkin soup? Yeah. I don't know. Give it a go, Hul. Yeah, I'm going to have to try it. Give I'll it tell you go. what, if you got that big giant pumpkin, everybody's getting pumpkin soup, pumpkin latte, <laughs> yeah. pumpkin muffins, <laughs> you name it. Everybody's, everybody's getting something pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> right? Everybody. Right. Um, and that this doesn't even, t- we didn't even talk about gourds. Oh, man. There are so many different styles of gourds, as well as uh, there's Jack B. Littles, and there's, uh, I like the, the name, and I think so much has to do with the name, how successful the pumpkin is. Baby yeah. booze. Baby booze. Baby booze. They're, they're white Jack B. Littles. Oh, wow. I, and I just love the name. And that there's different colors where they're striped with yellow and and green and they're white at a, on a white base. Go to your local garden center right now. They are filled up with pumpkins. 